Just to follow up uh, during the offer process uh, using the ShelterZoom platform this past weekend, um, when the offer is accepted, or if for any offer revision you have, whether or not you're counting or not, you can always refer back to an actual offer, you know, the latest. And when the offer is complete, you can actually take a PDF of that offer as, you know, that has an electronic signature on the blockchain to prove it's a valid offer. Well, I sent that over to my attorney, and while everything was perfectly acceptable, um, she said, you know, Mike, uh, in the future, to prevent, prevent any new case law on this on your end, why don't we change the terms and conditions? So what she had me do was go into our standard contract forms from the Mass uh, Massachusetts Association of Realtors, the Greater Boston Association of Realtors, and pull select clauses uh, and use the language to draft terms and conditions that have offer language like time is of the essence and um, you know due diligence and parties to the transaction and such. Everything needed to constitute a valid offer. She said it was very important to have that. So because I have control over my own ShelterZoom widget, I'm able to do that, and any agent can pull in their own their own specific language and do that as well with the help of their local real estate attorney uh, or broker owner just to make sure you have the proper language and whatever constitutes a valid offer in your marketplace. So overall, very good. The attorney was really excited um, that I've worked, been working with for years. It's It makes things a lot easier on their end um, as well as my end, so it keeps everything straightforward. So all good stuff there, but want to mention that because, you know, the customization and, you know, the hyper-local nature of real estate as it is, is extremely important. So just wanted to share that little tidbit.